Today I'm going to be showing you the basics of animating a 2D still image using the Puppet tool in After Effects 2017. The first step is to load your image into After Effects. It's important to use one that has no background because the Puppet tool stretches images as its way to create movement. I'm going to load a still image of Mr. Meeseeks from the show Rick and Morty. You'll notice I removed the background so it's just him. To start, click on the Puppet tool, which is located here in the top bar. Once you have that selected, you're going to add pins to the areas of the image, which should move independently. For humanish figures like Mr. Meeseeks, that'll be all the major joints. You can open up these bins in your timeline here to see all the pins you've placed and their keyframes once you add them. Now there are two ways to record movement. The first allows you to record in real time. Hold down Command on your keyboard, select the pin you want to move, and drag it around with your mouse. You'll see the keyframes were created in your timeline, and if you play it back, it will mimic your movements exactly. Now this doesn't look realistic because only his body is moving. So instead, this time, we'll click and drag to select all the pins on his upper body. Also, if we want to deselect specific pins, hold shift and click those ones. Now we can try again. Remember to click command before you start moving in order to record the animation as you move. Now we have him swaying a little, which looks pretty good. But there's a second way of animating, which takes longer, but is more precise. Open up your timeline bins so you can see the individual keyframes. Now we can adjust every pin on his body at any time, and add a keyframe to lock it into that position. I'm going to fast forward through this process, but you can see as I work the unlimited control you have with the movement. Once you're done, you can play it back and notice it looks good, but it's a little slow. To move every individual keyframe to adjust speed would be so painful and a waste of time. A useful trick to fix this is to adjust the scale of the keyframes. Enlarge your timeline window using tilde, then drag to select all of your keyframes. From there, hold Option on a Mac or Alt on a PC and drag one of the end keyframes forward or backwards. You'll notice it proportionally keeps your keyframes in the same spot, but adjusts the speed. As a final step, you can add a background to your animation. And here's the final product. Obviously, this is the basics, but there you have it. Your 2D still image is now a moving animation. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video.